God gave him a set of commandments to keep. And he said, if you break these commandments, I'm going to send a nation against you from far. Why? Because we broke the covenant with God. We broke the initial agreement with him. We said, we all agreed to say that, you know what, God, we're going to keep these commandments. You delivered us out of captivity, out of the hand of Pharaoh, Egypt. We go, we're going to agree to keep these commandments, us and our kids, forever. But what happened is that we broke the commandments. We didn't keep the agreement. Us blacks and Hispanics, we are the same, and the natives, we are the same. So I don't want y'all right. leave to say we all one in Christ Jesus. Because that's what Catholicism teach, that's what Christianity teach, but that's not what the Bible teach. Hispanic, we got our Hispanic brothers on the uh, tribe as well. They, we all come to make up the uh, nation of Israel collectively. It's 12 tribes. That's, That's right. Which we call, people call them blacks today or Hispanics today. Or, um, yeah, blacks and Hispanics. And Native Indians, to be technical. Did they ask your question? Do you know you're an Israelite, though? Have you heard of this information before? Okay. So you know it's something required of you? Do you are you convinced or do you believe that you're an Israelite or do you still think that you're an African American? Huh? Yeah, what what don't you know? Are you an Israelite? You don't know that? Okay, so what if you were filling out a job application and they asked you your ethnicity, what would you put? Huh? African American, right? So that is your father an African American? Okay, so well, we coming out here to teach you that that's a derogatory term, actually. That's an right. African American. That's a dole of two Caucasian men. Okay, so you cannot, you cannot uh, technically be an African American. You understand? African come from Leo. Uh, African come from uh, Leo, Scipio. Leo Scipio Africanus, and uh, America come from a, a, another Caucasian man by Amerigo Vespucci. Two white men came together and they chat. Two white men can't come together and, and, and bam, you be created. That's impossible, correct? You understand what I'm saying? Do you agree with that? So how can you possibly be an African American? Like for nationality. Does that make, you understand what I'm saying? So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna show you who you are according to the Bible. Give me, um, give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. You believe in the Bible, bro, uh, Solomon? Okay. You know Solomon was an Israelite. You know Solomon is King David's son? That's what right. What color is he? What, what, what color, how he look? Is it described in the Bible? It is. Hold that, give me uh, Jeff, the song Solomon. Know how he okay, that's what they teach, right? But we're gonna go through the scriptures and see if that's actually accurate or true. Give me that uh, one to five. The book of, I got Jeremiah, hold, 14, now hold 14, 14, 2. Now hold that Jeremiah. Give me Song of Solomon, one and five. Because what you're going to find out, this is this is King Solomon speaking. All right? And we're going to find out how he looked, according to the Bible. Yeah. So, Song of Solomon, chapter one, verse five, it describes him in the detail on how he looked. Teach. Right after the proper, yeah. Uh, yeah. Song of Solomon, chapter one, verse five. Call you to read it. Book of Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. Bring it out. I am black. Start at verse 1. Verse 1. Uh -huh. The Song of Songs, uh -huh. which is Solomon. Which is who? Solomon. Which is who? Solomon. So this is King Solomon speaking right here. You with me? Read verse, jump to verse 5. Verse 5. I am black, uh -huh. but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem. As the tents okay, of Kedar, uh -huh. as the curtains of Solomon. Read it again from the top. I am. I am black. So you hear King Solomon describing himself? He's telling you what? He is a black man, but he's comely as well, meaning he's black and beautiful. You heard that term before that phrase? Say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud, correct? That's the same thing Solomon is telling you right here. You understand that? So can you continue to say nobody know how he look? We just, we just read it. He said, I am black but comely, all right? So that's King Solomon. Now, go back to Jeremiah 17 and four. But we, we only reason why I'm edifying you, bro, because you're standing forth before me. But our, our Hispanic brothers and sisters as well 
are the nation of Israel. You also are the nation of Israel. But what happened? What happened was we've been, uh, since, since they came over here and colonized the lands, we've been dispersed. And we, we, we under false tense, they're thinking we're different. Or we think that we separate, but we all collectively as one people. That's all right? right? Read that. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. Bring it out. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. Uh -huh. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. Read it again. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage. So this is... This is the Lord speaking to Jeremiah. He said, and thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy inheritance. What does that mean? Huh? Discontinue from your heritage. What does it mean to discontinue from your heritage? Hey, any, anybody know? What does it mean to discontinue from your heritage? Anybody? Discontinue means to stop or to cease from your heritage, meaning you won't know who you are at a certain time frame in a, on the earth. You would stop, you would cease from knowing who you actually are out of this Bible. Because God only created eight, 18 nations. And inside of the Bible, you won't find Hispanic, you won't find uh, African American. None of those terms are listed in the Bible. So what I'm showing you is that you discontinued, and our brothers and sisters have discontinued from the heritage that the Lord has given them. That's right. Okay? How? Go back to Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Because you said, how are you an Israelite? You've heard it, but you need to you need to understand it, right? Because we hear a lot of things. But now, today, we're going to give you some understanding on how you are an actual Israelite. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Come on. Right but it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, okay, so to speed you up real quick, Moses is talking to the nation of Israel. He's saying, if you don't listen to my commandments that I've given you from Moses, a cur curses are going to befall you guys. In, in, a, in a time frame of the earth. All right? So go to verse 46. Verse 46. Come on. And they shall be upon thee uh -huh. for a sign and for a wonder, uh -huh. uh, and upon thy seed forever. You see that? So these curses will be upon us for a sign and a wonder. Read. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness uh -huh. and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. So these curses, what curse will be? Yeah. Verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, I, I also and a byword right. among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Uh, so y'all understand that? Y'all understand English, correct? So read it again. I want you to listen to up too, Solomon. Read it again. Verse 37. 37 yeah. And thou shalt become an astonishment, uh -huh. a proverb, uh -huh. and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. So uh, a, a, a proverb is something called out of your God-given name, all right? So if I ask, what is your nationality? Um, Mexican. It's a by word. Okay, how about you? She's my daughter. Okay, same thing, right? So could I, would you find uh, Hispanic in this Bible, the, the term Hispanic? Right, so it's 18 nations in this Bible that God created from the beginning of Genesis to now, right? And in this, in this Bible, you won't find that term. So that would be considered a proverb in a Bible, a proverb, you understand? Because that term is not biblical. Your biblical nationality is you guys are Israelites. You in specific, what is your father? Hispanic? Latino Mexican. Latino Mexican. So he would be actually from the, you guys are actually from the tribe of Issachar. That's you guys right. make up the nation of Israel. Have you guys ever heard that information before? Y'all know that y'all are Israelites? How about, huh? I've never heard that we were from. Yeah, you guys are Israelites. Um, how about at Azteca? How you know it? You'd heard of that, right? So that's the name that you guys were calling yourself prior to the conquistadors coming over here and conquering the land and colonizing it. Y'all y'all know y'all know about your history, about how Hernan Cortez came over here and colonized you guys? Alright, so we're gonna read a curse. We're gonna read some more curses to show you that you are the nation of Israel. Just lend us your ear for a second, alright? Yeah, jump back to that. 49. Verse 49. Uh -huh. 
The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, uh -huh. from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flying, uh -huh. a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. So the Lord shall bring a nation against you. Why? Because we broke God's commandments. Back all the way in the wilderness when our forefather Moses was giving us ways on how we should walk and conduct ourselves, God gave us a set of commandments to keep. And he said, if you break these commandments, I'm going to send a nation against you from far. Why? Because we broke the covenant with God. We broke the initial agreement with him. We said, we all agreed to say that, you know what, God, we're going to keep these commandments. You delivered us out of captivity, out of the hand of Pharaoh, Egypt. We go, we're going to agree to keep these commandments, us and our kids, forever. But what happened is that we broke the commandment. We didn't keep the agreement. Since we did that, read it again. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee. What nation? The, 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 the conquistadors or the Spaniards. Because your native tongue was not Spanish. When, when prior to them coming over here in 1519 and colonizing the land, that was, your, that, that was not your native tongue. Okay? But since they came over here, conquered y'all, pillaged and robbed the land, they made you, they forced Spanish on you. They forced the Catholicism on you. That was the religion of the Spaniards. Catholicism. That, I guarantee you, you got who what? What's your religion? Catholic, right? Or your, your, your right? So that's, that was the religion of the slave master, the conquistadors who came over here and robbed you and took the land. Teach. So God's telling you that, read it again from the top. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee. Come on. From far. From far, because back, his, uh, Spain is a far land. It's, it's far from here. The Lord said, this nation of people that's coming, they from a far land. Read. From the end of the earth. Come on. As swift as the eagle flies. And the emblem or the symbol of the Spaniards was the eagle. That's right. This is what God prophetically is telling the Hispanics and also the so-called blacks. Read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Because prior, like I said, you guys did not understand Spanish prior to 1519. Your, na your native tongue was Hebrew, a certain dialect of Hebrew. That was a, that was the language you spoke. But, but when they came over here, y'all didn't understand their language uh, originally. Or, yeah, read. A nation of fierce countenance. Uh -huh. They had a fierce countenance, meaning they showed no mercy to the women, the old, the young. The, uh, let me see some of them images. Could I get some help? I need some images of the, uh, of the conquistadors coming over here. Um, they, they show no mercy to the babies. You guys had babies, we had babies. They was taking the children by their legs and smashing their head against rocks. That's right. That's what God said. They had no reason again. A nation of fierce countenance. Right. We shall not regard the person of old, uh -huh. nor show favor to the young. So he didn't have no favor toward the young. Read. Keep reading. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle. And he shall eat the fruit of your cattle because when they came over here, the buffalo, the cattle and so forth, they was taking it, robbing him, taking it and doing everything with it. They even actually destroyed a lot of it because they didn't want you to survive. Read. And the fruit of thy land. Uh -huh. Until thou be destroyed. The purpose was for you to be destroyed, meaning that you would not know that you was an Israelite anymore. You would not actually be calling yourself a Hispanic years down the line. Why? Because this nation of people that came took your your your, link, your um your history from you and, and forced you to uh, speak these different dialects of language today. Why? Why did this God let this happen though? Because we anybody know why did God let this happen? We went over it for just, just to make sure you guys are. Because we went against the commandments. Right. Y'all understand that? So what happened? Because I'm telling you guys that we are one. The blacks and Hispanics and Native Indians are one people. That's but right. what happened? Teach. What happened to the, uh, like for example, I know what would throw most people off is that soon as we, when you physically look at them, we don't look the same, right? Our hair is woolly, y'all hair is a little straight. Some of y'all light, but y'all range from light to, well, brown to light skinned to Hispanic and natives, right? Yeah, my 14. Huh? That's when, that's around the time the disbursement came in, exactly. Hold it, give me um, Hosea 7 and 8. Give me Hosea, what's your name, sister? What's your name? Janet. Janet? What's your name? Ava. Ava. Have y'all heard this information before? Y'all heard this before? So why is it that blacks and Hispanics think that they different? And we are all together one people. We all the same people. But does that mean that we the same with the so-called Chinese people? Are we all with, with them? Huh? No. Yeah, I was gonna say I 
No, we not. We not the same as the Chinese. We not the same as the East Indians. We not the same as the so-called white man. Those are yeah. different nations. But us blacks and Hispanics, we are the same. And the natives, we are the same. So I don't want that's y'all right. leave to say we all one in Christ Jesus. Because that's what Catholicism teach. That's what Christianity teach. But that's not what the Bible teach. teach. Y'all understand? Bring it out. So, Give me 76, hold that. Give me 76 through the running. I want y'all to, before y'all leave, I want y'all to take this with you because this knowledge what we're giving you is priceless and we need you to understand who you are. Because for far too long, we've been calling ourselves byers and proverbs. You understand? Read that when you get it. The book of Deuteronomy chapter seven, verse six. Come on. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Come on. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people uh -huh. unto himself Come on. above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So this is one nation God is talking to and that's the nation of Israel. It's 17 other nations outside of this one nation. Read it again from the top. For thou art an holy people. So you blacks and Hispanics are an holy people. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. Come on. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. What did he do? Chosen thee. So out of all 18 of the nations he created, he chose one nation, and that's you, blacks and Hispanics. Read. To be a special people. Not to be an ordinary people. A special people. Not to be a regular people. A special people. To be a separated people. Special people. Read. Unto himself. Come on. Above. No, equal to. Above. No, beneath. Above. Read. All people, so we are above all the other 17 nations that God created. Read. That are upon the face of the earth. So who's saying this? Are these my words or is this the Holy Bible speaking? I'm not making this up. Y'all understand that? These are God's words. Now, hold, hold what you got. Give me uh, uh, first, what's that, first measure six. First measure six and six four. I want y'all to understand how God feel about y'all before y'all leave, okay? And then we're going to give you a law. The book of 2nd Ezra, uh, chapter 6, verse 54. Now I want y'all to understand this. Read. And after these, Adam also, whom thou hast made is Lord of all thy creatures. So Adam is the first man formed. Everybody agree on that, correct? And we all come from Adam, correct? Read. Of him come we all. And, here come, and, and, come, and, and from Adam come all mankind. All right? Adam and Eve, read. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. Who did he chose? We just read it. Who was us? What's the biblical name for us? Huh? The Israelites. He said, all other 17 nations and the people who you chose, God. Read. After, uh, and after these, Adam also, whom thou hast made as Lord of all thy creatures, come on. of him come we all. Read. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. Come on. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, uh -huh. because thou madest the world for our sake. So the world was made for the sakes of the blacks and Hispanics. That's we right. were made to rule the earth. When we made that a, a, a initial a covenant about keeping God's commandments, we read about in Deuteronomy, God said, I'm going to set you above all the nations. It's meant for us to rule. Read. As for the other people. And as for the other people, the other 17 nations, read. Which also come of Adam. Yeah, they come from Adam too. Read on. Thou hast said that they are nothing. What did God say about the rest of the nations? Thou hast said that they are nothing. What did God say about the Chinese man? They are nothing. The East Indian man. They are nothing. The Arab man. They are nothing. The white man. They are nothing. Read. But be like unto spittle. But be like unto spit that come out your mouth. Who? Make, I'm not making this up. This is thus saith the Lord out of the Holy Bible. Read. And has likened the abundance of them. So when you take all the other 17 nations, every woman, man, and child, and gather them up, the abundance of them. Read. Unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. And he compared them to a drop that falls from the vessel. Meaning like if you want to go mop your... If you're gonna go mop your house and a little drop come out of the bucket, you don't care about one drop. Your task is still gonna be completed because you got a whole bucket full of water. God compared the rest of the nations, all commanded up to a drop that fall from the vessel. Read. And now, O oh Lord, uh -huh. behold, these heathen, uh -huh. which have ever been reputed as nothing, uh -huh. have begun to be lords 
over us. So these other nations have began to be lords over us, meaning that when you pulled out a dollar right now, who is on the face of the dollar? Hey, bro, stay with me. Hey, bro, today the Lord's Sabbath day, you're not to buy or sell. That's the commandment God gave us. And one of the reasons why we continue to go through this captivity. All right? If the word of God made this earth for us, why are the other nations in rulership over us? If, if, the, if the land is for us, why? That's the question I'm posing to y'all. Can y'all give me the understanding? Because I gave it to y'all earlier. I want to why? Because we broke the commandments. Now, we're going to get a commandment real quick. Give me, uh, give me, uh, 1 Timothy 2. 1 Timothy, uh, 1 Timothy 2 and, 2 and 9. Yeah. Bring it out. Hey, look, I want y'all, I'm going to leave y'all this one scripture. And I, Lord, will y'all can apply this to y'all day to day life. This is going to help you. God's words at the end of the day is going to help you. You can, it's just up to us to uh, apply it individually. Read. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 9. Come on. In like manner also uh -huh. that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Come on. With shame faces uh -huh. and sobriety, not with broiled hair or gold or pearls or costly array. So this is a commandment that God written through the Apostle Paul to tell, to, to let you guys know in today's time. Read it again from the top. In like manner also. So in like manner also, read. That women adore themselves. That women dress themselves well. In modest apparel. In modest apparel. What does the term modest mean? The term modest means to basically, the Lord is saying, to make sure your body your special, your um, your 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 secret parts, your special parts that's on your body. Make sure that they covered up. Cause what that's all he gonna once he see your assets, he gonna talk to you based off the assets that you've shown them. Teach. He don't really want you per se for who you are. God is telling you when you cover yourself up modestly, a man gonna appreciate you for who you are when he actually talks to you. He's gonna appreciate you for your intellect. He's gonna appreciate you for the things that he needs to appreciate you for. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.